Hello and welcome back to the Consistory of the Coke YouTube channel. I'm your host for this video, Reverend Jack Zell with the St. John's Evangelical Lutheran Church located in Dolby, Queensland, Australia. Welcome back to our series, Ask the Consistory, where we answer listener questions. And this is a question I'm putting out for All Saints Day, and this is on the topic of invocation of the saints. Can we pray to the saints? And actually, I'm going to break this video into three parts, titled Prayers to the Saints, prayers of the saints and prayers for the saints because it is very interesting to see what the Lutheran confessions say on these different ways of praying either to, of and for the saints. And before I get underway with this episode, I'd like to recommend going and checking out my lecture on Article 21 of the Augsburg Confession in my What It Means to Be a Lutheran Lecture series. Now, if you're watching this video at the time that this video is first uploaded, I will not have loaded, um, I will not have loaded my lecture on Article 21 onto this channel yet, but if you're watching this video at a later date, hopefully I have uploaded it by that time. Essentially, I would just recommend going and watching that video because I'm going to go into the topic of the invocation of the saints into much greater detail in that video than I will in this video because this is a short Ask the Consistory video and so I don't want to go into too much detail. Essentially, if you want to understand what is the Lutheran position on the invocation of the saints, the Lutheran confessions have essentially three parts you can look at. There is Article 21 of the Augsburg Confession, there is Article 21 of the Apology of the Augsburg Confession, and in Article 2 of Part 2 of the Small Cold Articles, lines 25 to 28, Luther also mentions the invocation of the saints. So, Melanchthon in the Augsburg Confession essentially says that we do not pray to the saints. We do not ask them to intercede on our behalf, and we definitely do not pray to them directly to do anything else. In the Augsburg Confession, Melanchthon says that we do not pray to the saints to intercede on our behalf because we have one intercessor, and that is Jesus Christ. In 1 Timothy 2.5, it says that we have one reconciler and one mediator between us and God, the man Christ Jesus. Again, Paul writes in Romans 8.34 that... Christ Jesus is interceding for us at the right hand of God, and in 1 John chapter 2, verse 1, it says that we have one advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. So we do not pray to the saints and ask them to intercede on our behalf. Melanchthon in the Apology also mentions that we do not pray directly to the saints to do things, because the Catholics... The Catholics didn't just pray to the saints as intercessors, they actually took it even further and prayed to the saints as essentially mini-gods. You could pray to Saint Anne for wealth, you could pray to Saint Sebastian to protect you from getting sick, you could pray to Saint Valentine if you were suffering from epilepsy, you could pray to Saint George to protect you from warfare. So the Catholics actually taught you could pray to the saints to get stuff. Now. There's a few things wrong with that. One is that the saints aren't divine and they have no special power and can't do supernatural things like God can. Two, and most importantly, we're told to pray only to God and not to the saints. In Matthew 11:28, Jesus says that the weary should come to him. In Isaiah 11:10, it says that the nations shall inquire of him, the him being God. In Psalm 45, 12, it says that the people of Tyre will seek him. In Psalm 72, 11, it says that the kings of the earth will fall down before him. And in verse 15, it says that prayer may be made to him. In John 5, 23, Christ says that we may all honor the Son. And in 2 Thessalonians 2, 16, St. Paul prays to our Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father. There is also just the fact that in our Lord's Prayer, when the disciples come to Jesus and say, Jesus, teach us to pray. Jesus says, when you pray, pray our Father who is in heaven. He doesn't say, pray, dear Moses, intercede on my behalf. No, we're given the example of Christ as to how we are to pray. We pray to God. Now, the Catholics will argue that you can pray to saints in heaven. And the example they like to use comes from the... Book of Maccabees, second book of Maccabees, chapter 15, verse 14, in which Judas Maccabeus tells of a dream in which he saw the high priest Onias, 
who had recently died, was in heaven, joined by the prophet Jeremiah praying for the Maccabees to win their victory. And the Catholics say, see, this is proof that you can pray to the saints. But that's not accurate. That's not someone praying to the saints, because Judas nowhere prays to the saints. That's the saints praying for the church, which we're going to get to in our next video on the prayers of the saints. Because the Lutherans do acknowledge that the saints can pray for us, but we don't ask them to pray to us. Because, as Melanchthon points out in the Apology, the saints are not omnipresent or all-knowing. So, even if the saints in heaven could hear us, even if we could pray to them for intercession, they're not all-powerful, they're not all-knowing, they're not all-seeing, they're not all-hearing, and so if they could see or hear us, it's only one at a time. And so, even if Mary could pray for us, even if we could pray to Mary to intercede on our behalf, she can only hear one human at a time. And how do you know if she's listening to you or someone on the other side of the planet? You don't know. Which really comes down to the fact of there is no command in Scripture to pray to the saints. In fact, there are commands to pray to God. But there's also no promise that the saints could even hear us. In the account of Lazarus and the rich man, which Melanchthon mentions in the Apology, the rich man begs Lazarus to be sent back to earth and to speak to his loved ones, but he can't. And Melanchthon uses this to show that those in the afterlife may be concerned with us here on earth, but they do not possess the ability to interact with us. And we have no promise that they can hear us. What we do have a promise is that God will hear us. We have a command to pray to God and a promise that God will hear us. And so that is what we should do. Do not pray to the saints to intercede on your behalf. Pray directly to God. Pray to God through the intercession of Jesus. The saints can't help you, and they can't offer up prayers on your behalf to God. So I've been your host, Reverend Jake Zabel. That's the brief point about the invocation of the saints. Join us in our next video, which is going to be the prayer of the saints. Goodbye and God bless.